the way Yeezy's fan base are, they're kind of they're kind of ridiculous, right? Like imagine the quality that you see on like a 2002R. I don't know. Maybe they're like, hey, mids and lows ain't really selling no more. Hey, what up and welcome to another episode of Crease Tea. Now, I've been I've been hearing a lot of people saying that, you know, there's been nothing good coming out and all this type of stuff. And that's just January, man. Like, and I, I explain to all the people that have been telling me that traditionally there's nothing good till like mid to late February. But the bangers start in March. And the reason for that is Christmas, right? Yes, there'll be a bunch of releases around Christmas time. And that's trying to get that last bit of money because everyone's in a spending mood. But after that, traditionally, people are paying off their credit cards, maybe at this point in time, after pays, whatever, all that type of stuff. They're not focused on spending money. So traditionally, there's no real crazy releases. Plus, you also have factories and everything shutting down over Christmas, so it's hard to get anything done. But I have compiled an extensive list of things that are coming out in 2023 from say February onwards let's get into it now again I'm just gonna I've compiled this list I've got these dates these are essentially American dates I've got these off goat so we may get them earlier which does happen we may get them later which does happen but it just gives you a rough idea yeah so at the time of release or at the time of me doing this video these are what they say. You never know, things could change. So, February 3, we got the Union Jordan 1 Low KO. Now, Union's done some crazy heavy hitters. I think their first collab was the Jordan 1, then they've done the Jordan 4, then they've done the SB Dunk, then they had a Cortez that did nothing, and now they're doing a KO, which is not a popular silhouette by any means, and I don't think I've ever seen a Jordan 1 Low KO, but these actually look really good it'll be interesting to see if the union hype will carry them because it didn't happen with the cortez february 10th it is a women's release but i believe it will have bigger size range it's the jordan 4 seafoam for me i think these are incredible i'm definitely going to try and cop i need these shoes 11 and a half us i'm going to have to get that on Feb 16th, we got the Air Jordan 1 High 85 OG Black and White, or the Panda Air Jordan 1. Please don't call it Panda, I'm sick of Pandas. Clean silhouette, 85 shape. Usually it's better quality with the 85s. These will be, a, these are gonna go off. These are gonna go nuts. This may reignite the Panda wave, I think. Even though I just said, don't say Pandas. On February 17th, we've got the LeBron 20 All-Star. Now, there's probably going to be a bunch of stuff that isn't here because it's not confirmed or I can't find a date. Or maybe me personally, I don't think it's that interesting. Usually, I wouldn't find a LeBron interesting, but this colorway is actually really good. I have not liked any of the LeBron colorways for this silhouette. I didn't like the silhouette last year at all. I thought it was ridiculous. This looks really good. Now, am I going to buy it personally? I don't know. I may get it for like a gym training shoe or something like that. I don't know. Probably not. But Feb 17th, you can. Obviously, this is All-Star Weekend. So, there's going to be a few different things. I feel like there could be a few shock drops too. You never know. On the same day, the Air Jordan 1 Laney. Now, I've seen this mentioned as a women's release, but then I've also seen it as a men's. So, it could be both. Essentially, this is a blue and yellow... Air Jordan 1. I can't see these doing anything crazy except in the certain areas within America where like high schools, colleges and whatever have that sort of colorway or if you're a Parramatta Eels fan, right? Because it's blue and yellow. But for me, I don't need it. See how they're starting to stack up as we get into mid to late February? I follow these trends, man. Playoff 13, one of the most iconic 13s it's getting re retro Me personally, I don't like 13s. I know a lot of people do, so that's why I'm letting you know. On February 26th, we got the Air Jordan 1 High OG White Cement. 
I, the initial renderings of these, I thought, I don't need these, I definitely don't want them, I've got enough Jordan 1s, these kind of look tacky. Official images, they're starting to grow on me. If I see them in hand randomly and I'm out shopping, I may cop, but I'm not, I'm not going in a raffle for them. Speaking of something that I will go in a raffle for, it's a Jordan 5 UNC. These are super pretty, I've got a UNC colorway in a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 6. I just need the five, so I'm definitely going to be copping these. Jordan have been doing this for a while now, where in March they have a UNC colorway drop, and this is right on cue. So check that out, March 5th. Everyone's going to be on that, for sure. Although people were feeling the same sort of way about the sixes, and then the sixes sat on shelf. Me personally, I got them. They're here somewhere, but I ain't worn them yet either. So, interesting. Now, this is rumoured, it's a heavy rumour, that it's going to be in March. March is also Air Max Day, is in March. So, it's the Air Max one, anniversary red, but with the big bubble like the OG. Now, back in the day when they did it, they used to do it with CO2 gases or whatever, some stuff that killed the ozone. And when we were like, hey, we can't do this to the ozone, we started putting actual air in it, we couldn't... They weren't able to maintain the big bubbles that way. That's why the bubbles got smaller. That's the official, that's the official talk anyway. But then you look at things like the Air Max Scorpion, the 720, and you go, hey, you could probably do it. And now they're doing it, right? For me, I wasn't born in 86. Actually, no, the Air Max one is 87. I was born in 87. Um, I prefer the newer shape. I'll definitely buy these anyway, but you know, if someone wants to trade me for the Air Max they released from a couple years ago, I might do that too. So, check out Air Max Day, Anniversary Red, OG Big Bubble. I know a lot of OG fans would be onto this. For me, I prefer the newer shape. Come for me in the comments. I've marked this up a little bit, but February 12th, the Jordan 4 Craft. These essentially look like a fancier version of a cool grey. I was like, oh, I've already got the cool grey fours, I probably don't need these until I saw the wear testers review on them. And I'm definitely copping them. So these are these are just really nice. I can't see there being any hype for these, even though they're a Jordan 4. I feel like this is gonna be one of those colorways that just sits. So I could eat my words, but let's see. March 12th, we got the Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined. For me, this is a must cop. I believe this could be early contention for Sneaker of the Year. But, Reimagined. Are we doing that with every silhouette now? I hope not. I really like the idea for the one. This is a different take on it, but kind of similar. I feel like these just look incredible. We haven't had a white cement since the free throw line joints. They're impossible to get. So this is this is going to be dope. March 12th, it's creeping up. Me, I need three pairs of these. I hope these sit just like the Fire Red 3s did. Do I feel like there'll be a little bit more hype for these than the Fire Red 3s? Maybe. But at the same time, it'll be nothing compared to the Lost and Found. So hopefully sneaker vlogs and blogs and all that type of stuff don't jam up to the point where resellers feel like they can make a quid off them. They stay on shelves like the Fire Red 3s did and guys, guys like us, we can grab a few pairs, yeah? April 16th, we got the Lucky Green Jordan 1. Now these look incredible. I love green. Green is my favorite color. These on a, on a Jordan 1 reminds me of the Pine Greens, but it's a lot brighter. People were saying, oh, I hope it's not this bright, but have you not seen the Lucky Green 13s? It's essentially that color, like Nike, Jordan, they have their color palettes. They're called a certain thing. It's going to match that. I'm here for it. The blocking, you can't go wrong with that blocking, man. You just can't. So, what's that? April 16th, Lucky Green Jordan 1s. May 21st, we got the Marvel X Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, the Miles Morales 2s. I got the original one. The original one is perfect, absolutely perfect. This one, look, the artistic license has gone a bit crazy. They're growing on me. They are growing on me. The official images, everything like that, it is growing on me. I feel like I'm going to have to go for them to be able to see them in hand. I don't think I'll just be able to find them in stores, but you never know. I like I like the idea of them. I, 
I don't know. It's going to be one of those things where I have to get them in hand. But if you want them, May 21st, go for your life. Now this... They said summer in the US when mentioning, mentioning the release of this. It's the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Black Toe. OG shape, Black Toe Chicago, right? It's saying summer time, which is in the US, which is roughly July, right? It could be, this obviously three months of summer, but I'm gonna say July. Might not be July, <laughs> who knows? But, these are a must cop for me. Um, I've gotten rid of basically all my Jordan 1 Lows in that GR plasticky type joints. The high quality black toe colorway. I'm going to need these. I'm just going to need them. Also in July, another runner up for sneaker of the year for me. It's the Air Jordan 1 OG UNC colorway. Now these are incredible. These I feel like... I, I personally feel like they're better than the Lost and Founds. I need this colorway more than I needed the Lost and Founds. Talk about 12 pairs for Lost and Founds, I'm gonna need 15 pairs of these. But I'll be lucky if I can get two, because anything with UNC or University Blue attached to it is gonna be difficult. It's weird that they're doing, because they've always really done a UNC, at least for the last few years, They've done a UNC release on March. This is obviously in July. I don't know. Maybe they're like, hey, mids and lows ain't really selling no more. Let's just hit the UNC button. The closer we are to a date, there's going to be more official things because there's more info released. As we get later in the year, it becomes sparingly, so that's why it's skipping over a few. But in August, we have the Air Jordan 3 Wizards colorway. Now, a lot of Jordan heads, a lot of basketball fans kind of want to skip over Jordan's Wizards period, but for his age, coming away from the game, he wasn't playing that badly. You obviously got the Cool Grey 11s in that point too. So it's cool that they're actually acknowledging it because for the longest time, like you can't get a Mitchell and Ness Wizards jersey with Jordan on it. You just can't. You can only get Chicago. So for them to do this, maybe Mitchell and Ness is next with the Wizards jersey. I don't know. In August, Jordan 3 Wizards colorway. I really like this. It's very similar to, I want to say, uh, True Blue. But obviously it's got the yellow instead of the red hints. I'm going to need this. Same as this one coming up. The Jordan 3 Fear Pack colorway. Man, like, I've wanted these for the longest time. I was only talking about them the other day, like to someone saying they were a grail of mine, and then they go ahead and announce this. Unfortunately, it's in holiday 2023, so that could be late November, early December, but it's at the end of the year, we gotta wait, and I've already waited years at this point, so what's another few months, right? Or six, 10 months, 12 months, 11, I, I don't do maths, but holiday 2023 release the jordan 3 fear pack as well as just announced the jordan 11 dmp pack is coming out for holiday 2023 me personally i'm not huge on jordan 11s cool gray 11s bread 11s that's maybe the space jams that's my might be where i draw the line there's a lot of people that want these there's a lot of history behind these but for me personally, I don't need them, but I know people will, and that's why I've, you know, put them on the list. Now, they're ones with specific dates. There's also a bunch of stuff that's TBA and rumoured. So, in terms of TBA, we've got the Nike Air Force One Terror Squad. These are meant to be a GR type release, and there's meant to be a bunch of different colorways. Like, everyone should be able to cop on these. If you know from back in the day, Fat Joe and Terror Squad used to have their own little collaboration with Nike. There's so many different samples, all this type of stuff, and it was very tight knit only for the crew. Not anymore. They're going hard on this. All the information I've heard is there's going to be a bunch of different colorways. There's, there are going to be plenty of pairs, like everyone should be able to cop. And it's not like how they said with the Lost and Found, because this is an Air Force One. Not everyone's buying Air Force Ones, but for me, I'm gonna need a pair of TS Air Force Ones. Another TBA is the Run The Jewels Nike SB Dunk Pack. 
I'm a huge Run the Jewels fan. I don't like either of the shoes, but they'll be coming out this year. TBA. Jound New Balance 991. There isn't a lot of New Balance or other brands in this because whether it be the blogs or whatever, they don't really go to crazy on release information, right? They're not, whether it's the brands not giving it up, maybe they're not used to this type of recognition and maybe, I don't know, but there just isn't that much there. It's not that I don't like these brands because obviously I've got stuff from every brand, but TBA, there's going to be a Jan 991. There's also going to be a highly anticipated New Balance X Action Bronson 990 V6. I don't like the 990 V6. I don't like many of those type of silhouettes. I really like Action Bronson. also like Lime Green. I'm probably going to have to buy these. Now this one here, Jordan 2 Responsibility SP. These are incredible. Like these look nuts. It's a low, they're just, I saw the wear testers preview of these and oh man they made me like them even more the suede around the outside of the midsole is kind of weird i don't know how that's going to work but the shoe is incredible when i looked up the date for this it had actually dropped the day i'm filming this right now in the states but there's no word for it over here yet so i'm just going to put it under tba what also dropped either today or the day before maybe a couple days before is the Jordan 1 Satin Bread has been rumoured. There's no date for this. I'm not going to say rumoured because this went nuts. So usually when it goes nuts like that, it's more than a rumour. It is actually coming, right? I never got into the Satin joints, but I know these are going to go nuts. These are going to sell out like a lot better than the, the patent leather breads that came out recently. For me, just... Give us breads, bro. Just give us OG breads. Give us an 85 shape. Give us a reimagined bread, whatever. Just give us a proper bread. Jordan 4, Nike SB. This, I don't really know why this is a thing, but it is. There was a wear test model that was all black, but the official images are meant to be like white, red, and green or something. Maybe similar to like the P Rod uh, boxing joints that came out a couple years ago. But, I don't know, I think everyone was hoping that they were triple black because the black cats have gone nuts in recent times, but I probably don't need them. If they come out with a better colorway, maybe, but for me, I'm, I'm cool on them. The other one that I only found out about this literally yesterday is an off-white Nike Air Force One Paris colorway. Now, the official images or leaked images that have come out have been just a gray with silver you know all how the air force ones have been done the university packs or museum packs I don't, I don't know i don't care enough but how they've been done but with gray i don't like any of these joints at all i don't care about them the tba you may you may look at these and go these are a wonderful piece of art i don't know i don't like them in terms of rumors we have Adidas 350s and Adidas 700 V4s. The 700 V4 has actually leaked of images and instead of having like bits and pieces, it's like a whole foam that covers the side. It's kind of weird, I don't know. Apparently they've been made and everything, but there's no dates for them. We also have the Jordan 11 Columbia, but I believe that might've been mistaken for a holiday release in terms of the DMP pack being announced. We have the Off-White Jordan 4 Bread. Now, if I had to run a guess, this is rumored heavy to be dropping this year. If I had to run a guess if how they would do it, I would say somewhere like Complex Con, they just drop it like as a surprise, but you never know. The other rumor is the Off-White Jordan 1 Canary Yellow. It's been a thing for many, many years. People have got samples, people have got whatever. There was a famous story of like a, a MLS player, a soccer player, and he got sent just a care package from Nike as you do when you're a Nike athlete and they just randomly happened to be there and it's like, I don't think these were meant to be sent to me. 
rumored to be coming out this year, but who knows? It is just a rumor. Strong rumors, strong indications, but still rumor. What I want to do as well is some predictions. For me, I feel like New Balance will try and booster or bolster the 580 silhouette with a protection pack. I feel like they did it with the 2002R that brought them up. They did it, I think, what's that new one? It's like 9010 or something? I don't know. Maybe they'll do it with a 9060, but it's a proven system. I feel like New Balance is having a really good year. The collabs are working. But when they do something like the protection pack, it's like a collab, but without splitting the money. Also, I feel like there'll be another J Balvin collab with Jordan. I, what have we had? We've had a two. We've had a one or two, so the next one in succession would be a three. Could be interesting this is the year of the jordan like jordan's going heavy on this whole year of the jordan thing being 2023 so i wouldn't be surprised if there's a bunch of stuff that you know maybe if it even if it's difficult to get over the line that they just go all in to try and get done i feel like there'll be a new silhouette from drake's nocta brand as well all right so as i'm editing this video i remember that i had the prediction that drake's nocta brand would come out with a brand new silhouette and knew would it be like a scuba slide i i'm gonna pretend that didn't happen especially when it comes to purchases this year i would assume though that there will be a sneaker silhouette not just this fucking stupid scuba steve joint so back to the video there was a few different teased and even like the hot stepper was teased for many years before it actually came out but i feel like They've got the website, they've got the infrastructure going. The Hot Stepper did okay. The initial couple sold out. I think the black ones are reselling for like three, four hundred. Um, but I think it's time for a new silhouette rather than just other colorways of that and then maybe bring that back with other colorways. That's what I feel like will happen. My other prediction is Travis to do the same bullshit without any originality. He is doing one last colorway of the Jordan 1. I feel like it's going to be backward swooshes, it's going to be browns, piss stain yellows, and just a whole bunch of rubbish. I feel like this year too, New Balance is going to cement themselves in the number two spot without any arguments. They're going to, they're going to streak that far ahead of everyone else, like the Sorconi, like the, like Asics, especially Adidas. And there'll be no arguments. Everyone will just, it'll be like back in the day where, where people were like, are you Nike or are you Adidas? Now it's gonna be like, are you Nike, are you New Balance? That's how I feel like they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be doing some things. I mean, their basketball shoes, I feel like are the best modern basketball shoes out at the moment. And New Balance is always comfortable, so you know they're gonna be comfortable too. Was it the two-way? The new, I felt like the old two-way was good. It just needed the right colorway, but they never got there. This current two-way is incredible. That being said, I still feel like, as another prediction, Asics, Theodora, and Sorconi are going to have crazy years this year. Your average sneakerhead isn't just buying Nikes and Jordans now. They are going Adidas. Maybe not Adidas. <laughs> new Balance, Asics, Sorconi, you know. They're mixing it up. Even like little brands like Carew, it's an open slather. Speaking of Adidas, Adidas will do nothing even with the re-release of the Yeezy styles. I feel like the way Yeezy's fan base are, they're kind of they're kind of ridiculous, right? I feel like people are going to go, nah, it's not Kanye, so we're not doing it. I feel like initially resellers will try and jump on it. There'll be no resale market, even if they're doing OG colorways. And it'll just be down to like people that may just want the shoe, right? I feel like Adidas has got a lot of work to be done. My next prediction is clogs slash crocs to be done with. I don't know if it's a prediction or just a hope because I hate the whole croc clog thing. I also want to see Nike Air Max 1s in a GR. I don't want to have to go into a raffle, a boutique or whatever just to get a pair of Air Max 1s. I want to be able to go to my local Foot Locker and randomly there's a pair there just like with Air Max 90s, with Air Max LTDs or whatever, right? I also want to see Air Max 1 by you come back. If we're given the timeline of how Nike reintroduces their silhouettes and everything, I would say mid to late next year, uh, mid to late this year, we should get Air Max One Nike by you back. Could be wrong. I hope I'm not. 
I also want to see, while we're speaking of Nike by you, I want to see a Jordan silhouette go on there. We haven't had a Jordan silhouette on there since... I can't remember the year. I want to say maybe 2013, and it was the Spizoax. I designed them, was broke, didn't have any money to actually do it but they were there. They also back then used to give you like a cool little background so you could make it look cool and show people. I feel like those type of things could have value to the social experience with Nike by you and promote it within. I would also like the Air Max LTD to get some motherfucking respect put on its name. I would love to see a collab or even a premium version come out of that. Like imagine the quality that you see on like a 2002R on an Air Max LTD. That would be absolutely insane. I'm frothing. This is a long episode of me talking. I'm, I'm getting sore from standing. My ankles are still not the greatest from when I injured myself earlier last year. But... Hey, it is what it is. This has been another episode of Crease T. What do you guys think? Plenty of good releases. Apparently, this is the year of the Jordan 23. And look, there's a lot to be looking forward to. Let me know in the comments what you like. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.